Hi, I'm Steve Diggs. Welcome back to Insights. Great content at the speed of light. In today's lightning round, I want to talk with you about an idea that I think will help you make better decisions. I'm going to suggest that if we want to make really great decisions, we need to go old school and we need to do a spreadsheet. What's that? Well, one of the most famous decision-making spreadsheets goes back two or three hundred years, back to the days of Ben Franklin. He was said to make a spreadsheet that looks something like this. He would put together a T like this, and then he would at the top of the T's put down the pros and the cons. And beneath them he would list the individual pluses and minuses of making this decision. For instance, maybe it's a decision about changing jobs. And we look at it and well, there's going to be more money, there's going to be more opportunity, the company's going to pay for my car, uh, they're going to pay for some education, and maybe there's some more prestige, whatever that means. On the other side though, we have less flexible work schedule. Uh, it's not what I like to do. It's going to take longer hours. And worst of all, it's going to take me away from my family a lot more. Now, when we add these numbers together, what we end up with are five on the plus side and four on the negative side. So we would end up with a number one, a plus one. So it looks like probably we ought to go ahead and do this. However, what I'm going to suggest today is that we put Ben Franklin's spreadsheet up here on steroids. In other words, let's build it out and let's give each one of these items a rating, a factor of something or another to help us see how important it is. For instance, more money, eh, that's pretty good. I mean, we get an extra one for that and opportunity, that's good. You get one more for that. Company car, that's pretty nice. I get one more for that. The paid education, that's a big deal to me. So I'm going to give that a two. What about prestige? Eh, okay, I'll throw in a one. So instead of a positive five, we now have a positive six when you add those up, right? But let's come back over here on this side and let's look at these things. Being in an inflexible working environment, that's bad. That's a negative one. This is not my passion, so I'm going to give that a negative two. Longer hours, I'm already working too much. That's a real negative two. And the worst thing of all, less time with my family, I'm going to give that a negative three. Now, so do you see what happens? When we add these up, instead of a negative four, we actually have a negative eight. And with that negative eight subtracted from the positive six, instead of this being a positive decision, we now have a negative, a negative two. So we might want to do the very opposite thing. This little graph right here has helped me, and I think it's helped a lot of other folk, make a lot of good decisions. Think about it, use it, see what you think. I'm Steve Diggs, and this has been Insights. I'll catch you next time.